Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial today. I haven't done one of these in so long. It's my birthday week. I'm 23. I'm 20. That is like full-blown adult mode. Um, but I thought I'd just give you a quick update of what my everyday makeup's looking like. Some products in here are new, but I have used them before, but I thought I'd just incorporate them in today's video because they are my favourite, but also they are trending on TikTok and everything at the moment, so you'll probably see some great ideas and not fake ideas, you know what I mean? Even though I trust every one on TikTok and everything that they say, sometimes people are just promoting them because they're getting dollar out of it so in today's video you'll know what's obviously trending and what's actually good i actually have done my skincare but i do like to go with this so i am using the bobby brown enriched face face but this is trending on tiktok so this is the prep and perfect primark vitamin e enriched moisturizing primer this is £4.50 and it's pretty much the same as the Bobbi Brown one. I have used this and the only difference really is the smell. It smells a little bit different but to be honest I'm not mad at that because the Bobbi Brown one is, I don't really like scents on my face and this one isn't really scenty at all. It's the same kind of texture as well guys. Yeah it practically does the same thing which is amazing because it's literally £4.50. I just rubbed this in with my hands as well. It's, it's still got that like refreshing smell to it but not as strong. Okay guys, I've actually been keeping on top of my eyebrows with dyeing them, so I haven't really been doing much to them apart from sticking them with brow gel. I've yet used a better brow gel than the Got To Be Glue. I don't know what it is, something about this is just so good. Don't use a lot of it though because sometimes it can get on your skin and obviously make that like um, shiny texture and you don't want that. How I basically do it is I just go in, it's quite dirty, I really need a new one, and just stick my eyebrows up like this. There's no need to like pat them down or anything. I know with the refine one you have to like stick them down with like the spoolie end of the brush but with this one you don't need to. You literally just spike it up like that and let it dry. I've been liking my brows quite fluffy at the moment. I go I go between fluffy and then like painted on brow so much like you won't find me with the same brow for weeks on end. It's just it's just not me. It is more to use as well like sometimes like like today actually I can just do this in my hair. I have so many like baby hairs that are just so annoying. To have like a product like this, it's so easy. <laughs> also guys, it's literally four minutes into this video. I'm actually proud of myself. Usually my intros are like 10 minutes long, so. Hi, welcome to the new Ebony. Okay, once they're like that, I kind of just dry them to like fasten up the process, but you don't really need to do this. For my base, I never wear foundation. I feel like every time I wear my foundation, my makeup goes wrong. I just go in with the Elf Halo Glow. This is in the shade, shade five. I got mine in quite a dark shade because I wanted to contour with it. I never really liked putting all of this over my face. I used to do it with the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I just felt like it just made me look sweaty. So to have it in like targeted areas is like a much better technique for me. And I'm using my Maybelline Mitchell sponge to pad this in. It just gives that really nice sort of glow. Definitely see the hype about this one, guys. If you're looking to get like the Charlotte Tilbury one but don't know like whether to or not, definitely go for this one. I feel like this is as good, if not better, than the Charlotte Tilbury one. I feel like the hype about this is honestly ridiculously good like it's on it it's so good and as you can see it's also multi-purpose as well like i'm contouring with it you can use it as foundation you can use it as primer you can use it as literally pretty much anything eyeshadow look like i'm doing i basically i just told you that i don't put it everywhere but i basically do okay tart shape tape you you know you go lives in the uk I, I literally wanted to get my hands on this since i was about 12 and i could never get my hands on this and i went to dubai a couple of days ago I did do a vlog on it and I eventually got my hands on the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the ultra creamy one in the shade Light Medium Sand. This is the best concealer I've ever used and I'm so mad at myself for not like trying to get it because I know a lot of people with this but I just thought oh I can't be arsed like there's obviously other concealers like this. I have really creased under eyes like I don't think really there's much that I can do apart from get under eye filler which I'm scared to get. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. This doesn't crease like it's honestly like magic But I leave it underneath my eyes like I do with all of my concealers until last Another hack from TikTok that I learned if you do that it gives it more coverage And what I'm so surprised of of this concealer guys is literally blending out so easily It's not thick like you know when you see like Instagrammers and like influencers and beauty gurus putting this on their face and it looks so thick it's not thick at all, like it's the easiest concealer to blend out. It's so full coverage, it's literally so creamy and velvety on your skin. Like, 
I just don't understand what they put in this. Are you ready? Look at this. And I was so skeptical because Sephora is so busy. And I was like, I am not doing a, I'm not doing a shade match in Sephora. There's absolutely no way. And it's so nice. I genuinely thought that I'd feel like there was a brick on my face or something when I used this, but it's just so effortless. And I just feel like I'm not even wearing anything. Okay, next up, my favorite thing that I've ever bought. I literally got it like three days ago in Dubai, but the Rare Beauty cream blushes are just something else. Another thing that I was like, oh, everyone's just hyping it up because Selena Gomez, we all love Selena Gomez, but do you know what I mean? Like all that drama, I was like, God, everyone's literally just basically licking our ass now, but for the good reasons. This is unreal. You will just see how nice this is. Like it just gives off the most natural glow. I even liked it that much. I bought my friend it for her birthday. I got this in the shade Worth. But basically what I do is I actually go quite heavy on this because I don't care anymore. Like blush is just life and no one can tell me otherwise. And again, I just blend it out with my beauty blender. Look at it. Oh my god, I don't even care that I put so much on. Like, I will literally walk out the house with the whole tub on my face. I usually do this before my concealer, but I forgot today. Um, that's a quick ha hack as well. I'm going to do my concealer again after doing my blush. Basically, what it does, you'll be able to see. I'm obsessed. Basically, when you do your concealer after you blush, it really helps just to map everything out. The same goes for, like, contouring as well, guys. Like, I just feel like it helps so much again like it goes a little bit messy down there that's fine you can clean it up with concealer and i think makeup by mario said that blush doesn't look natural if you just have it on your cheek so i do just put it everywhere okay i look like a crazy woman now i look like i've literally just i literally look like i've been sat out in the sun for for like six hours i'm just gonna map everything out with the concealer i would have literally done this before but it's okay Okay, now we are all blended out. As you can see, the concealer has literally just mapped everything out and it's just started to look really freaking good. And I've never actually seen my skin look so naturally glowy in a while. Like I've bought so many like glowing products that give off the glowy skin, but it never gives off like the glowy wet skin that these products give off, which is honestly what we're all what we're all looking for. And this this basically this this is the product that you need. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some powder. I'm gonna go in the Kylie Cosmetic Soft Pink Setting Powder. This is my favorite setting powder. It's literally like butter on your skin. I do love the Laura Mercier one, but this is, this tops it for me. And I don't even know why. A lot of people don't talk about this, but I'm just obsessed with this powder. I think it's so nice. And I don't really use a powder puff because I feel like there's less control with it. So I kind of go in with a small brush, either one of these because it's angled, um, which I'm gonna go in with today. And I kind of just ignore like the cheek area because as you can see here, it's really pretty and shiny so I just do it directly where I put the concealer and as you can see it's just kind of like mattified the areas but also it's just kept the glow as well this is why I love this powder as well because it's not too powdery and it doesn't mattify your face too much to the point where it just looks flat it does keep that shine through which is so important to me I actually love Kylie Cosmetics you know I've always been that kind of person that's quite skeptical about like makeup artists from like celebrities and stuff but throughout these past years they've been getting so good it's like Rare Beauty, Fenty, they've just been honestly evolving into the best brands and I, I can't fault them. Okay, whilst I'm baking, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Burt's Bees lip balm. I've recently gotten into this and I actually really like it. I've got the peppermint one. I think when it comes in packaging like that, they become so addictive. I just bring this everywhere with me. Oh my God, a pigeon shut on all of my outdoor furniture. There's literally pigeon shit everywhere. Once I'm like semi-baking, I'm gonna go in with a powder. So you haven't really seen this a lot on TikTok, but I did get this from TikTok shop. It got kindly sent to me by Bella Mianta. This is so good. It gives you coverage as well. It's actually a powder bronzer, but it's so creamy. It's in collaboration with someone, but this is what the packaging looks like. If you go on my TikTok, you'll be able to shop the bronzer on there because I've directly like linked the exact one. But this is so freaking nice i really just put this on like the perimeters of my face i love how little this little brush is as well i usually hate little brushes like mini brushes but this has been a godsend to me throughout of obviously like going on holiday and stuff because it just doesn't take up much room i put a little bit on my nose just here as well 
I'm gonna wipe away all of the powders now. They have just basically melted into my face, but to keep the glow, I'm gonna be using this. So this is a Revolution Super Dewy Fix Setting Spray. This is so good and definitely underhyped as well. Love this. It really brings a glow back to your face. Okay, I change my lipstick up and my lip like products up all of the time, but I'm always using a Morphe lip liner. Like, I don't know why, but I always just reach for them, especially like when I'm going shopping because they're always on sale for like two quid, which is so good. I don't really go anywhere without lip liner because I'm quite insecure about my lips. Like, I just don't like my lips. And every time I've like, I went to go get lip filler once, and I don't know, because I don't really have like a defined top lip anyway, like, it just looked so fake and unnatural because it just looked like I had it just no it just didn't look good and it might be because I'm just not used to it because it was quite a big difference I did have like one whole mill in my lips which people tend to like advise people who've never had lip filler before to like go for like 0 0.5 and it was a bit of a shock to me and I had to pretend to like it as well um and the worst part about it is I got it for free so I had to obviously promote them which I did promote them because the service and everything was really good and I don't really think that it was like the way that they did my lips and yeah I may have didn't like them but I also think it was a big thing that I just didn't like them because I wasn't used to them and that's probably how they'd have looked if anyone else did them because obviously I don't really have much shape. No, I had a great experience but I didn't really like the outcome and I think it's just because of my lips. But anyway, moving on about that ramble. Um, shit, no, is this MAC? No, this is MAC. God, it's rubbed off so forever. I've been thinking this is Morphe but it's literally MAC. I'm gonna be using the Cork MAC lip liner for this. So once I've kind of outlined the shape of the lips that I want, I go in with the Refi Gloss. This is another thing that's been hyped on TikTok. And if you follow Jess Hunt on Instagram, you know that her lips and her eyebrows are just literally the main thing about her. Like she's honestly insane. Like she's actually insane. But I think that my favorite thing about it is the applicator. Like it's so nice and cooling like on a hot day because it actually keeps cool like wherever it is. I have this in my bag alongside a lip balm because I feel like it gives that nourishment as you would using like a normal like lip treatment product if that makes any sense so it's really just nice to have that's going straight in my bag i'm using the freckle pen i've been using this for years the whole of the brand is literally came off because i take this everywhere with me but it is the misguided freckle pen i just love it there's two shades of this actually i think there's a sun kissed shade and then there's like a normal freckle shade but i basically just bring my own freckles back with it too okay last but not least i'm gonna go in with the mascara this has also been trending on tiktok so much this is the maybelline super real falsies mascara i'm gonna speed up the process of this because just please watch the magic happen i have had an lvl guys it still worked pretty much the same maybelline and morial know what they're doing when it comes to eyelashes um, they're definitely like my two favorite brands to get mascara from and this is the mascara guys It's honestly just so nice. Like it feels like it lifts your lashes so naturally as well This is my everyday makeup tutorial guys. It's so simple and easy It's not like too many layers as well So I feel like everyone can do this that so everything that I've showed you today that's been like trended on TikTok are honestly so worth it So if you're looking to buy like new makeup bits or if you're just getting bored of your makeup routine like I was Please venture out to get these products because my skin is just looking so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this finished look and I will see you in the next one. Bye.